Did you know that there's a moon that orbits its planet backwards? Or that there's a dust cloud in our galaxy that smells like rum? Or how about how far it would be to stroll around Pluto and its equator? Honestly, there's so much more. I'm Mike with This25, and you'll want to stick around for these 25 fascinating facts about astronomy you've never heard before. Twenty-five, Mercury and the hottest planet. Have any guesses as to which planet in our solar system is the hottest? Now you might be thinking of Mercury since it's the closest planet to the sun. However, that title goes to Venus at a whopping 820 to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So why isn't Mercury hotter? It has no atmosphere to help maintain temperatures. So there are a lot of temperature fluctuations. It could sometimes reach 800 degrees during its day, but when Mercury is facing away from the sun, it plummets to minus 330 degrees. 24. The Changing North Star The North Star has been an important marker for navigation. Our ancestors didn't have GPS. What's interesting about the North Star is that which star is considered the North Star changes. It's not a random choice. It has to do with a process called precession, which is a change in our planet's rotational axis. Currently, our North Star is Polaris, but in about 12,000 years, well, it'll be Vega. 26,000 years from then, it'll go back to being Polaris. 23. Trees versus Stars The number of stars in our galaxy may seem countless. However, did you know that there are more trees on Earth than there are stars in our galaxy? There are an estimated 3 trillion trees on our planet, and only a measly 100 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. Distance of a light year What is a light year anyway? Well, as the name starts to imply, it's the amount of time that it takes light to travel to Earth in one year. Well, how does it relate to distance in space? The math goes like this. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. Multiply that by all the seconds in a year, and you have one light year, equaling 6 trillion miles, or 9 trillion kilometers. So, if a celestial object is one light year away, we know it's 6 trillion miles, or 9 trillion kilometers, away from us. Yeah, space is big. That's putting it mildly. 21. We are seeing the past. Because it takes light from a certain object so long to reach us, what we're seeing now from Earth happened in the past. Here's an example. The sun is 8.3 light minutes away. Whenever we're looking at the sun, not directly, and through a good pair of sunglasses, mind you, we are seeing how it was 8.3 minutes ago. 20. Space. What is it made of? We focus a lot on planets, stars, moons, asteroids, but all those visible things only make up about 5% of space. So what about the other 95%? Well, 27% of space is dark matter. While scientists still aren't sure what dark matter is made of exactly, it's a mass that emits no light and no energy. The remaining 68% is dark energy, which is thought to be responsible for the expansion of the universe. 19. The Sound of Space because there is no atmosphere in space, there's no way for sound waves to carry. Therefore, space is completely silent. 18. The moon is moving away from the Earth. Because of the way the moon pulls on the Earth, the Earth loses a bit of energy while the moon gains it. This boost in energy allows the moon to spiral outwards. It's only about 3.8 centimeters a year, though and scientists don't believe it'll fully break away from our gravitational pull for billions of years. Oh, I'll miss you. Some galaxies are visible with the naked eye. Galaxies are light years away, but there are a few of them that are still close enough to see even with the naked eye. These galaxies are the Milky Way, the Andromeda, the Triangulum, the Sculptor, and Centaurus A. If you have really clear conditions, you can see Bode's galaxy. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, you can see the Magellanic Clouds. 16. Neutron Stars 
A neutron star is the collapsed core of a massive supergiant star. That's cool and all, but what's fascinating about them is that they can rotate up to 600 times per second. They're also so dense that just one teaspoon worth of a neutron star would weigh 4 billion tons. Now I can't find my teaspoon, so this is a half one, so this would be 2 billion tons. Just that. Two of them would be four. 15. The moon isn't round. No, I'm not starting a flat moon conspiracy theory here. It's more like a lemon. Scientists think this is due to interactions it had with the young Earth. And also know that is not some Portal 2 reference between, you know, moon dust and lemons. They're damn lemons. I'll make the day, I'll make you rue the day you gave Cave Johnson lemons. Uh, what a great game. 14, a diamond planet. 55 Cancri E is also known as the super earth and it's twice the size of our planet. And it's most likely covered in graphite and diamonds. It's 40 light years away from Earth and in the constellation Cancer. 13. Spacesuit leakage. Allow me to get a little bit uh, graphic here, but I'm sure someone's wondering what happens to you if your spacesuit leaks. Well, in short, you die, but not as quickly as you might think. Due to the pressure vacuum, your blood and other bodily fluids would boil and then gas bubbles would form in those boiling fluids, causing you to bloat. And then the low humidity would cool you down so quickly that your eyes would freeze over. This says nothing of what happens to your lungs, ears, and sinus, or your soft tissues. Thankfully, you lose consciousness in about 10 seconds. The rest of it wouldn't kill you for another minute or two. It's not pretty. Basically, let's just hope there are no leaks. 12, raspberries and rum. In 2019, a team of scientists exploring a dust cloud in the Milky Way discovered the presence of ethyl formate, the chemical that is responsible for the smell of rum and the taste of raspberries. That gives a whole new meaning to R&R. &R. That was, that was dumb. These are getting worse, I'm so sorry. 11, ban on bread. As you might expect, there are a ton of checklists and safety rules for astronauts out exploring space. Because of the absence of gravity, crumbs from bread, cookies, and crackers are a no-go. Could you imagine you're just minding your own business, working in your spaceship, and a crumb from Bob's sandwich floats into your eye? Uh, no thank you. That's just disrespectful. Get it together, Bob. The crumbs could also interfere with important equipment, but that's, you know, probably no biggie. Sure, we'll be fine. I'm sure our space suits won't have leaks. Damn it, Bob. So why no one wanted to bring you on the spaceship. 10, crying in space. As we all know the famous quote, there's no crying in space. That's not right. Speaking of zero gravity, if astronauts get sad and cry, their tears form into jello-like blobs under their eyes instead of, you know, rolling down their cheeks. Nine, gamma ray bursts. There are many epically powerful forces in space. However, one such force we must mention is a gamma ray burst. These bursts might happen when two neutron stars collide or when a massive star implodes. A gamma ray burst is an intense flash of high energy radiation. It releases more energy in 10 seconds than our sun will in its entire life. A ninth planet or a black hole. At the edge of our solar system, far beyond Neptune, Calculations and simulations gathered by teams of scientists show that there may be either a tiny black hole or a large planet. If this object exists, it'll go a long way in explaining the movements of some objects in the Kuiper Belt. 7. Twinkle Twinkle All the Stars The stars in our sky appear to twinkle because of the way starlight is affected by the winds and temperatures as it enters our atmosphere. Six. Enceladus Reflection Enceladus is one of Saturn's 53 confirmed moons. While many planets and moons absorb sunlight, this one reflects up to 90% of it. Because of that, Enceladus is negative 394 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 201 degrees Celsius. 5. A Year on Neptune 
Because of its distance from the sun, it takes Neptune 165 Earth years to make just one orbit around the sun. So you'll never see an entire orbit. Sorry. Four, Pluto. You heard about Pluto? <laughs> okay, I was a bit upset when poor Pluto got demoted from planet status. How else can I complete the mnemonic, my very excellent mother just served us nine pizzas? Then I learned that Pluto is smaller than the US and the whole dwarf planet thing well, now makes sense. I'm still sad about the pizza, but to put this into perspective, if you wanted to travel around the equator of Pluto, it would roughly be the distance from London to Denver. Three, Triton's retrograde orbit. One of Neptune's moons, Triton, orbits the planet backwards, and it's the only large moon in our solar system to do this. Well, add this to one of the many questions scientists are still trying to figure out. Astronomers still aren't sure why this happens. My guess? Just in its teenaged angst years and just rebelling. Just doing the opposite of what it's told. It's not conforming. Two, metallic snow and rain on Venus. As I mentioned previously, Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Not only does it reach over 800 degrees Fahrenheit, it's also full of sulfuric acid. So, you know, the perfect vacation spot. This causes the planet's metals to become gas and then liquid in the atmosphere. Then when it rains down, the temperatures on the ground return it to a solid. Not really sure an umbrella would help if you were caught in that storm. One, Saturn's epic storm. Speaking of storms, just wait to hear about this one. On the Northern hemisphere of Saturn, there is a huge multi-layered storm that's been raging for decades at least. This storm is shaped like a hexagon and is 180 miles or 300 kilometers tall, 20,000 miles or 32 kilometers wide, and has wind speeds of about 200 miles or 320 kilometers per hour. So, what's the coolest space fact you know? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our newest lists, and join our Discord, join in on the fun, it's slow going now but it'll get there eventually and don't forget to become a member and help support us it will really help us and i would really appreciate it anyway i mean it thank you oh don't forget our shorts too uh we release them with every video because sometimes people just want you know bite-sized bits so uh as always see you next time be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every monday wednesday and friday share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here, or just head to our website at list25.com.